Hey, <laughs> what's up, dudes? You know who it is? Chad Whipple. Now to me, sports is all about extremely emotional stories and whether it's rags to riches or just crazy bruzzy breeders, you know, or, or whatever. It's, it's, it's about dudes overcoming all odds to get back on top. Last week, I took a trip down to Rockville, Maryland to sit down with this bro, Parker Bertelli. Now this guy, just <sighs> super mad inspiring story. Take a listen and also watch. Parker Bertelli was widely known as the greatest attackman to ever come out of the D.C. area, Native Americans included. His senior year, he netted 58 goals in just 22 games and was well on his way to a bright future at the University of Syracuse, a.k.a. Cuse. But with a full ride and all eyes on Parker, he turned to the one place no one could find him, cocaine. You had it all, Parker. Yeah, man. I had my whole life ahead of me. So you started smoking pot? Sixth grade. As they say, pot, man, it's the ultimate gateway. It's the best. All right. Well, I mean, it, could, it can also be dangerous. Yeah, it was for me, Chad. Because before I knew it, I was rolling joints every morning. Every day I was smoking weeds. And then suddenly I found myself drinking a lot of rum. So you're, you're out on the field, you're playing all whacked out of shit. I was high sometimes, usually on Addies too. But I never drank and played, Chad. I take sports fucking serious. A laxaholic first. Yeah. But also an alcoholic. Yeah. Then what happened? I was a top 205, a wide-eyed freshman. I was put on this team with these two older bros, Wilkins and Kapoor. Wait, Slade Wilkins? Yeah. Yeah. Before I knew it, we were blowing cocaine while most people were taking showers. And taking showers when most people were asleep. And then Kapoor got hit by a car the summer after his senior year. Oh. But Wilkins and I stayed close. Crazy close, Chad. And even though like, friendship is a great thing, mm -hmm. in this case it wasn't. Because hanging out with him meant you were doing a lot of blow. Snoring the big difference. The equalizer. The restraining lines. <laughs> the rest of your life. Down the drain. Right. And playing on coke for me was a lot like playing on Addies, except it was way more extreme. Yeah. You mentioned earlier I scored 58 goals my senior year. You know how many of those goals I scored while being on the White Pony? 14. 58. Jesus Christ. Every one. It was awesome. Wow, that is awesome. It was awesome. Sure. And the crazy thing was, like, it didn't even affect me negatively. My freshman year at Q's, I came out to a strong start. Real strong. Sure, some of the guys on the team thought I was a fucking asshole, but if I've learned one thing playing this great game, yeah. it's that you gotta be a dickhead to be good at it. Yeah, well that's probably why I wasn't so the best. And beats me chief. But as I was saying, health-wise, I was hanging tough. And then some jealous prick on the team narked me out. Next thing I know, a full fucking SWAT team stormed my house and seized over 10k worth of coke. I was kicked off the team, kicked out of school, arrested, and forced to go to rehab. That's really serious shit. It took six stints in rehab until Parker Vertelli got clean. His eligibility ran out in 2009, but he's been picking up credits here and there at UDC, a local community college, where my cousin, Victor, is also a rising junior. So I guess that actually wasn't a great story about Parker's life and how it was ruined. He still hasn't really bounced back, and paranoia is one of those things that he was definitely displaying for sure. Don't do drugs. Nicotine, caffeine, have at it. Nugs, if you can handle it. But honestly, if you're in sixth grade, you need to be practicing on your game. You know? Out there, wall balls, ad nauseum. Work on your lettuce. You gotta be a fighter. Parker fought too hard. I'm Chad Whipple, and this is, was, 
Always will be. Bad Sports with Chad Whipple. Does anybody have some daiquiris?